first up, we have Jack Silvani, number one, number order, Joe. Uh, famous name, famous um, a famous off season. Uh, we we obviously know what happened last year with the with um, his dad Sauce. Um, uh, really a, a tough year for Jack last year. Three games, crueled with injury. He had the hit from Zach Merritt, then he had the ITB soreness, and just never got going after showing some promising signs in 2019. Um, rather than look at what happened, let's have a look ahead. What are you expecting from Jack in 2021? Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a bit of a bounce back here. Like you said, I think first off, his off season was he would have been he would have been feeling a little bit um, I don't know under, under the pump with with the amount of speculation around his name. Um, obviously, Sauce was on trade radio, caused a bit of a stir. That led into rumors that Jack was unhappy with the club, and the club was unhappy with Jack and the Silvani family, and. It just, it was a massive whirlwind. Eventually, Jack stayed, which was good. Um, I think he's super important to our side. Um, he did have a very, very unfortunate year in 2020, ended early, then that knee that knee injury uh, in the second half of the year that kept him sidelined. Um, I think he bounces back. I think he bounces back this year in a big way. I think we missed his his forward half connection. He's, his ability to use the ball forward of centre is as good as anyone on our side. Uh, I would say. And I think when you look at our inefficiencies going inside 50, his talent and his skill level was sorely missed uh, as a result of that. And, and it, it was evident. So that's that. they're my thoughts. I think he slots straight in, to be honest. He's, uh, a lot of people have him as sort of a top 26 player. I've got him as a top 22, 23. I think he's one of the first picked on the team sheet. If he's not, I question what what our intent is going forward and what what our whether or not our our ability to move the ball forward in, in a more clean and efficient manner is actually at the forefront of what we're doing because you're not going to score goals with the way that we're moving the ball inside 50 last year. Yeah, he he brings the footy IQ, the things you can't teach. Mm. He's been around footy his whole life. He's been around the AFL system his whole life, which in a funny way, I think is what allowed him to get through the whole scandal with his dad uh, and just come away with it without overreacting too much. Mm. There was a lot of talk about, oh, he might leave. He could be fed up. Um, rumors flying left, right, and center. Uh, I think he handled it very well. And ultimately, I think the best way to respond to something like that is what you do on the field. Mm. So, yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I mean, there is a notion. And I'll, again, I'll put the question out to you guys. Where do you want to see Jack play in 2021? And the reason why I ask it is because I know that it's going to be a bit split. Some people think, oh, you know, he played a half on Nat 5, showed some promise in 2019. Maybe he can be used as a tagger. Um, I personally think I actually think he's the third tall forward. Yeah, no, that's, that's interesting. That's that's me. That that's how I see him. I think he's a guy that can rotate forward. Uh, sorry, rotate into the midfield. He's 194 centimeters. Um, he doesn't play like he's 194 centimeters though. That's right. And that's the thing. I think the difference between him and McGovern, for instance, McGovern plays like a third tall. Jack kind of doesn't. He plays like a half forward flanker. Mm. He plays as that high half forward, that connector. So I think you're right. I think he could play that third tall, if you want to call it a third tall. Um, and yeah, his ability to go through the middle is invaluable. Do you want to see him there in the midfield? I think he's shown enough. I think he's shown enough. Both at, I think VFL level in 2018, when we first threw him there, he he showed a lot of potential with his tackling ability. And like you said, in, in 2019, that, that job he did on Fife was phenomenal for someone that really spent time in the middle. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd want to see him rotate through there. He's another big body that can help Cripper. You know, we speak about bringing in big bodies from outside the club. We've got plenty of them. Yeah, he, uh, he added the ability to not go to ground. Mm -hmm. Strong through the hips. Uh, I think for me, the focus for Jack and what I want to see as a fan this year is executing on when he marks the ball. Mm. He can sometimes get a little caught out, drops the ball a lot. Um, I think now that he's at, in that sixth year, strength in the in the shoulders and just in general in the system for a couple more years now, I think he's ready to go. Um, but you guys at home, let me get some comments. Uh, we'll look back on these on these previews at the end of the year and see how we all went. Bryce Richards says, Jack will have to earn his spots. There's no lock in the 22. He'll be competing with Bam Bam for that spot. Debbie O'Connor says, I think he can be a swing player anywhere needed. Uh, Robbie Varley says, I've got Jack in my top 22. He's 194 centimeters. He's really versatile. He absolutely bleeds for the jumper, which is a huge thing for me. Downsides, downside is he's kicking for goal accuracy. I'd start him off the bench and let him plug holes that we need. Love, love what I'm hearing there. Um, Skill Me Up on YouTube says Jack brings desperation and we have that lacked that in the past, but for us to improve, we should be seeing that now from other players. Yeah, I think 
there is there is something to say to be said for that. He plays with passion. Oh, absolutely. Always plays for the jumper. Yeah, plays for the jumper, and you'd expect it with the name that he. Uh, I know. I know people say that the name doesn't mean much as much as what the jumper does, but when you've got that name and you're pulling on that jumper, they they are synonymous. So absolutely. he does. He plays. He plays with absolute passion for this club. You, know, you look at the bombers, mate. They lost to Danaher. Look exactly. at them. Exactly. Basket case. They are a basket we, we are case. happy to take shots at Essendon oh, any I chance we can get. I love it. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started on their off season. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Jack Silvani. Um, I, I think he's primed. How many games do you think he should be aiming for this year? I think he should be aiming for all 22. Yeah. To be fair. Like, oh, I think he would have played every game last year if he wasn't injured. He was in fine form to start the year. Uh, that, that game against Richmond, I think he kicked two goals. Was in, He influenced a couple late in the fourth. Um, and especially on that comeback against Richmond, and yeah, just unfortunately felt an injury. But I think twenty-two. So you've got him absolutely in the best. 22 he has to be. Week he, to if, week. if Jack's in our best twenty-two, I think we are. We're, we're running at optimum level yep. with him there. Fantastic. What about you guys at home? How many games do you think is a, is a fair target for Jack to look at? Uh, let us know. I, I've got him down as fifteen. Aiming for 15 or more, I think we've got a bit more depth in the forward line. And um, not to say he can't play 22. I'd love to see it. Uh, I'd love for him to, by the end of this year, we say, yeah, Jack has to be playing mm. no matter what. Mm. Um, but I think coming off the year that he had, uh, I'm not sure where he's at with his fitness now, if he's on a modified program yet. It's mm. a bit of a shame that we can't go to open training just yet. Um, but I think 15 minimum. Ali on Facebook says 18. Tyler Shaw says the same, 18 to 22. Uh, so there's a few, there's a few, uh, and um, I think he gets into that upper range if he pushes McGovern out of the side. That's that's what I look at. If McGovern's out of form, Jack's in form. You have to play Jack over okay. McGovern. Interesting. Mm. Oof, very. A, interesting. It is. It's a big Oof, call, but it's, big call. Mm. Love it. Paul Harvey says Jay Sos to play twenty games. So people are looking at him there. Okay, I like it. 